everybody thanks for watching and checking in again um, if you like my videos you can help me out by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel and if you have specific questions or you want to see a specific type of guide just uh, let me know in the comments i read all of them and then uh, i will be happy to make a video about it yeah? um, in this video i will show you the new advanced text block by Cadence, we have we have it here. So this looks um, looks a bit the same. We have the new styling, of course. We have the general, the style, and the advanced tab. This is something that's introduced now with the uh, blocks version three. Um, and there is also something that's not so obvious, uh, an, an extra feature that they added, but you won't be able to uh, find it inside of this right hand column. And it's also not by default here, we have to click on something else. Um, it's a cool feature, let me show you. Um, this is a, uh, make it a dynamic uh, heading. And now we're going to select dynamic. We're going to click on the arrow down and then we go to typed text and we're going to add some additional strings. Let's uh, add, this is a new heading. This is a cool heading. This is a nice heading like this. You have some speed settings. Um, if you want to have a delay um, and some typing speed settings, you can set up. I'm going to leave them by default now just to show you. Refresh and you see this is a new heading, this is a cool heading, this is a nice heading, this is a dynamic heading. So we can make a sort of yeah, cool effect. You see it often in websites um, and we couldn't use use this or, or do that with the, with the default cadence blocks, but now there is, this, there is an option to do it, but you have to click on this little arrow and it's important that you select the text. So you have to type, like dynamic is the word that I typed. This is the first, the first one in the row, so dynamic, this is the one that starts uh, the thing. So we have to select it by doing this, then clicking on the arrow down and then uh, go to the typed text. Otherwise it won't work. So we have to have the, some text, like I can also do it with the heading. I have to go in, I have to select it like this, click on it, type text, and then everything that I put in now will be uh, applied. You can change the little... Um, this is the cursor, so if you want to make it a dot, that's also possible. Now you see, it's like this. If it's like the end of the line, you can you can do it like this as well. So this was a quick one. Hope this uh, helps you play around with it, and uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.